As we're still talking about some pretty warm stuff, but the 100s, as you'll notice, they are gone for the foreseeable future. Now, keep in mind the average high this time of year is 91, so we're still talking about warmer than average weather for several more days, but at least not the extreme heat that we've been seeing so much of lately. It was just last Friday. We had a high of 106, so 97 today and only feeling like about the actual temperature heat index around 97 because of the drier air going forward. Yes, temperatures go down a little, but at the same time, the heat index may actually creep up a little more as the humidity starts to gradually return. We're also going to be watching for some rain by the middle to end of this week. We already see some widespread rain in North Texas this morning. You can see it heading right into the Dallas Fort Worth area, maybe near Austin. They get some this morning as well. That rain Rain doesn't make it down towards us until around Wednesday and maybe we get a spotty shower tomorrow. Really low chance at 10%. So we're starting to watch Wednesday and then Thursday and even into the end of the week and this upcoming weekend. Some off and on scattered rain is going to be a possibility and in Texas where we really, really could use some rain. We're going to see some hefty downpours, especially generally in the northern half of the state. That's where there could be one to two to even two to four more so here between Dallas and San Angelo. These blue colors around us indicate on average about half an inch to an inch of rain. Doesn't mean everyone's going to see that much. Some will get less. Some could certainly get more than that if a downpour happens to set up right over your particular house. Now uh, switching to drought status, you can see a lot of red here. So these different categories of drought, the red to dark red are the worst categories known as extreme and exceptional. So it's good to see some of that rain. I'll switch it back over. You can see the rain right over these areas where we need it for sure. On over to the tropics. You've probably heard about Hurricane Lee. At one point it was a category five. Right now it's a category three way out there in the Atlantic Ocean. It looks like it is going to make that expected turn to the north or to, uh, to the storm's right. And it's not until the end of this week when it gets a little closer to the US. Here's the forecast general area for the center of the storm on Saturday. So obviously if it's on more so the western side of this cone of uncertainty by Saturday, it could have more of an impact on the US. Regardless, though, there's still going to be a dangerous rip current situation for pretty much the entire east coast of the US this week. Here's a look at some of those forecast tracks from various computer models, and some of these show this getting pretty close to maybe New England by the end of this week. Something to keep an eye on there. Back to our forecast highs in the 90s, so it's still pretty warm. We have that scattered rain beginning on Wednesday perhaps lasting into Thursday, Friday and the weekend. And then the rain should get shut off after the weekend. Temperatures, though, held in check with highs pretty much generally in the mid 90s through the next several days.